If you thought the transfer market was crazy before, just wait until you hear what's about to happen at Manchester United. We all know what happens when rich Arabs take over European football clubs. Just look at PSG and Manchester City. They've become unstoppable forces. And now it's Manchester United's turn to get a taste of that Arabian money. And now the question on everyone's mind is, what's going to happen at Manchester United? Will they finally be able to afford to buy a new defence? Or will they just buy a new country instead? We can't predict the future of the club's hierarchy, but one thing's for sure, there will be some major speculation about the players. So grab some popcorn, relax, and let's dive into the chaos. Don't forget to subscribe and join us for all the latest updates on the biggest football stories. If you are a Manchester United fan, you should know that the takeover from the Glazier family is almost official. At this point, you might be considered a pseudo fan if you're not aware of this. But of course, it did not happen overnight. The Glaziers put up the English club for sale a while ago, and there were several bids. Bids started coming in from former owners opening up bidding in November and ending in February. As it stands, bidding is over, and Manchester United probably has new Qatari owners. So, what's the way forward with the club? Manchester United is currently not the best destination for some of the biggest names in football. However, with its new owners, this is about to change. Why is that? Manchester United's new owners are up to a lot. Word on the street has it that they will be redeveloping or breaking down the club's current playing arena and building a fresh stadium. However, this is just one of the projects they will be handling. Beyond putting a lot of money into the club's structure, the Qatari owners will invest in fresh legs. So, if you support the Red Devils, it is time to brace up for the arrival of new players. One thing's for sure, if the new owners have as much money as we think they do, then the transfer market is about to get a whole lot crazier. So, who is coming to Manchester United? Who is leaving? And who will be making it to the first 11? Time will tell. Before we see all that, like the video if you haven't yet. Also, hit the bell button so you won't miss our other videos. Let's get back to business. Everyone who knows a thing or two about football is aware that the English club's playing squad will be overhauled. In the last couple of years, Manchester United has been linked to several top players. However, it appeared these players were out of reach for financial reasons. Well, all that has changed as the club can now afford any player it wants. And speaking of players, there are already rumours flying around about who the new owners might be trying to bring in. I heard Lionel Messi might finally make a move to the Premier League. That's for another day though. Some of the big names that might be putting on the Manchester United journey next season are England and Tottenham's captain Harry Kane and Declan Rice. While Tottenham's captain Harry Kane is Ten Hag's most preferred striker, it does not seem like Tottenham will be letting go of their record goal scorer easily. And even if they do not want to hold on to the striker for much longer, they might not want him to go to Premier League super rivals. The implication is that his chance of becoming a Red Devil is slim. Manchester United is not the only club interested in the striker. German giants Bayern Munich are also keen on signing Kane. However, there is a major problem. Price tag on Kane is over 100 million euros and the highest Bayern has paid for a player is 70 million euros. So if they'll be getting the English striker to Germany, they will need to break a transfer record. It does not quite seem like too much to ask. However, can the German club afford to pay this much for a player? If Manchester United is unable to get the services of Harry Kane, then they will be keen on bringing in Nigerian top striker Victor Osimhen. The Napoli striker is in red-hot form currently. Also, he is not out of contract until 2025. So, getting him to England will cost some big bucks. A season ago, it would have been pretty difficult or even impossible to land the Nigerian man. However, with the English club's new owners, the price tag of 133 million euros on the striker might just be a slap on the wrist. So, for next season, we'll probably have Harry Kane or Victor Ossiman sitting in the top striker's position at Old Trafford. Beyond bolstering their attack line, the Red Devils are also pursuing other positions. Jude Bellingham could potentially wear the red jersey, although competition for Manchester City, Liverpool and Real Madrid looms. Additionally, United aims to reinforce its defence with Monaco's top defender, Axel 
Desai. Unlike Ossiman and Kane, Desai's transfer may be easier due to his existing contract. As a result, Monaco may accept an offer of 44 million euros for the player. If secured, Desai would likely replace Harry Maguire, who plans to leave at season's end. Alexis McAllister might not be at Brighton next season, and we could see him make it to Manchester United's starting 11. As much as he will have to battle for a place for Christian Eriksen in Manchester United's midfield, the Danish midfielder is currently injured and is already ageing, so things might not really be in his favour. United is showing so much interest in getting Spanish and Barcelona one kid Anso Fati to England. This looks like it's going to be a very easy move. However, it's not as easy as it seems. Ansu Fati has battled with playing time for a couple of seasons. Well, not because he isn't a good player, it's because he's always battling injuries. Ansu might want to try his luck outside Spain, and a move to Manchester United is very likely. As much as things seem sealed already, Ansu's favourite position is on the left wing. Unfortunately, this is a position where the Red Devils have a lot of options. English winger Marcus Rashford has been in top form lately and has plenty of goals and assists to his name. So the chance of Ansu Fati pushing him down the pecking order is very slim. One could argue that Ansu could fight for this position. However, if he decides to fight, this fight will not just be between him and Rashford. He'll need to go head to head with Jadon Sancho and Alejandro Garnacho for this position. This means he just might not be making the trip to United unless he's willing to try out another position. Personally, I can't wait to see what kind of crazy things the new owners will do. Maybe they'll even try to sign Christian Ronaldo again, just for fun. Well, there's also a potential move for PSG's right back, Hakimi. The Moroccan might not be one of the most celebrated players on the planet. However, he's got an amazing track record of 31 goals and 40 assists. In addition to Hakimi being one of the best at the right back position, he is also very versatile, which is something United is keen on taking advantage of. David De Gea has already paid his dues in the United jersey. However, it appears his time at the club is coming to an end. Already he has to deal with reduced wages. He does not seem to have a problem with this right now, however, no one knows how long he will be willing to put up with a reduction in pay. With the Spaniard on the verge of leaving United, we might have Diogo Costa or Jan Oblak in Manchester. But that's not all. It appears David Rea is interested in his compatriot's job. He has already replaced him in the Spanish national team and it seems the same will be happening at club level. So, as it stands, Manchester United's starting 11 next season is likely to include David Rea, Raphael Vaughan, Hakimi, Alexei Dassey, Luke Shaw, Casemiro, Anthony, Bruno Fernandes, Rashford, Ozerman and Alexis McAllister. I can only speculate of course, however it is up to Ten Hag and his crew to decide who comes to Old Trafford and who doesn't. So who do you think will be in Manchester United's starting 11? Let's hear it in the comments section below and see you soon!